Hello friends, welcome. In today's video, I will try to give you an overview about the terms which sometimes confuse people like EEDI, EEXI, CII and SIMP. So let's get started. As you are all aware, the shipping industry is undergoing a green revolution with the International Maritime Organization targeting a 50% reduction in the greenhouse gas emission by 2050 the industry has introduced four key elements guiding this transformation, which are EEDI, Energy Efficiency Design Index, EEXI, Energy Efficiency Existing Ship Index, CII, the Carbon Intensity Indicator, and the Ship Energy Efficiency Management Plan. But how do these pieces fit together? Let's try and understand that. Let's start at the beginning. The Energy Efficiency Design Index or EEDI was introduced in 2013. It set the first ever global standard for new building ships, pushing designers to create energy efficient vessels from the start. Every ship built after 2013 had to meet specific carbon emission standard based on its size and type. But that was just the first step in a much larger journey. As the standard for the new ships was set, the question arose, what about the ships which are built before 2013? That's where energy efficiency existing ship index comes in. Introduced in 2023, EEXI applies to all existing ships of 400 gross tonnage and above, covering everything from bulk carrier to tanker and container ships. EEXI is essentially a design efficiency measure for older vessels sometimes requiring modification like engine power limitations to meet today's environmental standards. Now, as you understand the two index, which are for ships built before 2013 and after 2013, the question that comes to mind is, where does the seam fit in? Well, Ship Energy Efficiency Management Plan has been around since 2013, but it takes on a bigger role alongside EEXI and CII. SEAMP is like a ship's strategy guide for maintaining and improving energy efficiency over time. Every ship needs to have an updated SEAMP on board, outlining how it plans to meet efficiency targets, including specific measures for monitoring, reporting, and improving performance. SEAMP is critical for managing compliance with both EEXI and CII. So, so far what I've covered is EEXI is for the existing ships, which were built before 2013. EEDI is design index for the ships which are built after 2013. SEAMP is required in all kinds of ships. That's like a guiding map for them to maintain the efficiency and keep monitoring it. Now comes the stricter version, which is the CII. It stands for Carbon Intensity Indicator. And this exactly zeroes on how efficiently a vessel is operating. From 2023 onwards, ships of 5,000 gross tonnage and above are rated annually A to E, A being the best, E being the worst, based on their carbon emission relative to the distance they travel and the cargo they carry. Maintaining a good rating is vital because poor performance can lead to penalties and operational restrictions. SEAMP help guide the ship in meeting these targets by laying out operational measures like slow steaming, route optimization, and use of cleaner fuels. Now, just to make it more clear for you, how does anybody know that how efficiently a ship is being operated? So let me tell you how CII is practically working right now. See, from 1st January 2023, all the ship operators operating vessels of over 5,000 cross tonnage are regularly reporting to the classification society. And the report includes the consumption of fuel, the amount of cargo carried, the distance it has carried. And these reports are made on regular basis, daily or sometimes weekly basis. At the end of the year, as per the formula which I mentioned here, the CII rating is calculated. If the CII rating falls below the threshold required for this ship, Based on that, the rating is given. If the rating is perfect, then the ship continues to operate and gets a statement of compliance. In case the rating is bad, let's say D or E, 
then the ship needs to make a corrective action plan which may include modification in the main engine or taking up practical action to prevent this from happening in the next year once the corrective action plan is accepted by the flag state the statement of compliance is issued to the vessel so to summarize eedi applies to the new builds eexi is mandatory for the existing ships of 400 gross tonnage and above seamp is a requirement for all ships as it's the core plan for energy efficiency management cii applies to vessels of 5000 gross tonnage and above targeting operational efficiency compliance is crucial for nearly every large vessel engaged in the shipping operation i hope this was a useful video for you if you have any questions or comments then please do write down below and as always thank you for watching